So do you know the numbers about the Giants? 130 years they've played. Yeah. They've played just under 20,000 games. <laughs> they've had 714 pitchers. And you're the only guy to throw a perfect game. That's ridiculous. It shows you how rare it is. Yeah, it all happened somehow. I don't know how it happened, but it did. Well, he was really serious from day one. You know, when he was out there playing t-ball at five years old, the other kids were out there kicking rocks and catching crickets, and, and he was watching what was going on in the, at the ballpark. So. One ball and two strikes. Yeah, he was more of a, an infielder type. He's one strike away from perfection. Then one, one day, honestly, his freshman year, he came up to me and said, Coach, I can pitch. I said, really? And it came out of his hand. I was like, oh, my goodness. I always, in my heart, believed that he would have a no-hitter and, oh my goodness, a perfect game. Like, I would never, never think of something that amazing. Can we get any other uh, volunteers? Ben <laughs> yeah! I mean, he's such an amazing athlete. I mean, he's good at anything he puts his heart to. He's uh, eight or nine inning guy, so he usually get a day off when he's out there. Well, yeah. if you're going that long, that means you're pitching good. So. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Try to. Yeah, it was just, I mean, a normal day. We kind of did our normal thing. You know, we had fun with it. I had a bunch of guys that went out there and hit some balls into the cove. And then I went about it, um, you know, like anything else. I just kind of went back to the clubhouse, hung out, I was getting ready for the start. Then kind of once the game started to evolve, I think that's just kind of when everything um, started to fall into place. Haynes strikes out Schaefer. You know, I just found out early, probably in the first couple innings, that I was spotting and I found a good rhythm with, with where I wanted to throw it. He struck him out with a fastball. You could almost tell there was something special when he was striking out everybody. Three and two the count and he struck him out with a changeup. And that was that was a beauty. Uh, you know, to have a all-star caliber pitcher as uh, Kane is and then all-star caliber catcher as uh, Posey is, it was just uh, it was perfect. I'm going to say he did most of it. He did all the thinking. I just I just was trying to throw it where he called it. Got him. I mean, I'm not throwing the pitches, you know, but uh, when I'm working with a staff like this, sometimes they make my job pretty easy. And You know, I was watching him, and whatever he was calling, I was going to throw, and, uh, you know, I didn't think twice about shaking him off. Fastball got him looking. It's just amazing how he can handle himself under pressure. He kind of expects to throw a no-hitter, you know, every time he goes out. It just shows the confidence that he has in himself. I just kept trying to stay within what I was doing, and I just got lucky to where I didn't overthink it, and I just kept doing it. Schaefer trying to be the first Astros hitter to reach base in this one. And this is hit out into the alleyway. A long run for Blanco, and Blanco's going to dive! And the catch that Blanco made, well, I mean, there's, there's no way. That might be the best catch of all time. It's, it's got to be, considering the circumstances. I just keep running and running, and I uh, said to myself, you maybe have this this, this ball, and I, and, and I died for it, and, and I did it. And, I, and it was a, one, of the, one of the greatest moments of my career. When Blanco made the catch in right center, that's when I thought, he's going to do it. That was, that was, we all kind of had that thought, because those kind of things, and those kind of things happen, fate kind of takes over at that point. And Matt Keane is three outs away from history. You know, the stars are aligned in the sky just right that night, and uh, you know, when it came to the ninth inning, that's when we really, really got nervous. And... The look on his face, it's, it's like when it, you know, when you first, when your child can walk and they have that look on their face. And then there was that look on his face there like, I can do this, I can do this, you know? And so he did. One ball and two strikes. <laughs> on the ground, Arias from deep third, got him! And that's a perfect game! The first pitcher in the 128 years of the Giants franchise to pitch a perfect game. It's the whole game. You're just sitting there on pins and needles. And then 
you know, you look over at your husband and he had just lost it. We just both just kind of collapsed, you know. Both started crying, really. You're always happy that it would happen, but to be there, like, I feel so lucky that I was a part of it. You know, it's, it's one of those things, like, you just you stay in the moment as much as you can. Because it's history. It's unbelievable history. And I can't think of anybody better in our franchise ever to do something like this than Matt Cain. It's something that he has that can't be taught. Um, it's just kind of something that you're born with. You know, obviously we all change when we grow up, you know, we get a little bit older, but I'm still that like little kid that, you know, just love to go out and play baseball. He did the perfect game, but he won't be satisfied with just that perfect game. He will want to do the best that he can do, and, and the rest of it doesn't matter, you know, if it is a perfect game or not, if it's just the best that he's doing at that time. This has been an exclusive presentation from SFG Productions.